Black and white CS2 loadout and we're going for the absolute cheapest one possible that still looks great. First off, the Glock ironwork fits perfectly, especially as it's only 12 cents in minimal wear and for the USP I chose the Ticket to Hell which is the next best choice after the print stream but as most of you know the print stream is super expensive so this one is much cheaper as it is only 43 cents in minimal wear. For the P250 I chose the Rebuild which is a skin that you never ever see anyone use or even talk about but it's great for this loadout and you can get it in factory new for just 17 cents. For the 5.7 I chose the Kami and this one in minimal wear for $1 is perfect unless you go for a certain special pattern of course but this one overall looks really nice and for the Tech 9 I chose the cutout which doesn't look great but it fits nicely with this theme and the fuel tested one is about $2.15. The Digo Mecha Industries is the second best choice after the print stream but gotta go for this one due to the price and if you get it in fuel tested it will cost you around $3.35. This video was sponsored by Skins Monkey, which is a trading platform where you can trade your old rusty CS2 skins for some new shiny ones in seconds. You just select the skins that you want to trade and the ones that you want to get. You click trade and it's done. If you use my code OSNI on the website, you get a bonus of up to $5 for free and a 35% bonus when buying balance. They also host giveaways in the freebies page and link to Skins Monkey is in the description. The Mac 10 Whitefish is a perfect as it gets, it is basically black and white and the minimal wear one is only 20 cents. For the MP9 the featherweight is another skin that fits perfectly in this loadout and the factory new version is super cheap for just 19 cents. And then for the Khalil, this is pretty obvious, I chose the tuxedo which is literally black and white and it is also great for sticker crafts if you want to do some and if you get it in minimal wear it will cost you about 64 cents. The Famas Mecha Industries is the best choice possible for this loadout and you can get it in field tested for around $2 so it is pretty cheap. For the AK I chose the slate with white stickers and I just think it looks amazing. Which stickers you want to use is really up to you but the skin itself will cost you around $1.83 plus whatever you spend on the stickers. For the M4A4 I chose the Urban DD pad which is quite literally perfect, I love this skin and somehow it is only 15 cents in minimal wear. And for the M4A1S this is the most expensive skin of the video but I chose the Mecha Industries which has to be the M4 for this loadout. Obviously you could go for the print stream but that is over $100 and this one if you tested will still cost you around $19. For the op I chose the black now but it has to be either the factory new version or the minimal wear version so it is not goldenish. You can easily get a minimal wear one for about $1.66 and if you want you can even add some white stickers to it so that it fits the team. And this part is an extra as it goes over the budget of the video but if you want a budget black and white combo I would go with the Moto Glove Smoke Out in field tested for $132 with the Ursus Knife Urban Mast in field tested as well for $98 and I think this one goes really well but you could also go for the unhinged gloves with basically any Damascus steel or stained knife and I think that is also a very valid option but this combo that I'm showing you right now is priced at around $230. That is it. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for daily CS2 content.